Here are the two components for the, the, the carcass front and the carcass side for the blanket chest. They're overlapped at the corner, as you can see, and that's where the dovetails need to go. I've chosen the tape measure tool and I'm coming down an inch and an eighth because that's where the first dovetail from the top, the center line of the first dovetail appears. And then from the bottom, it's a quarter, it's a half dovetail, so it's just a quarter inch away. So I've got those two guidelines now and I pick the line tool and create a, a line between those two midpoints of the extended dovetails. And then I right click and click divide on that line and wait till I can get seven segments. That's how many dovetails we want in this piece. Now the dovetail sizing is uh, one half inch at the widest part and one quarter inch at the thin part. So I'm creating again guidelines to show the boundary of those dovetail joints. Here's the line tool and I'm creating the lines, the angled lines for the dovetail joint. But I just realized uh, I forgot to edit component before drawing those lines. So I'm going to undo, back up, right click, pick edit component, and then draw in the dovetail lines at the angle from those intersections. Then I'm going to pick the push pull tool and go ahead and push that dovetail right out to the back edge of the front piece there. Now we want to copy this dovetail joint so I'm zooming in and picking the select tool and drawing a box left to right around that dovetail joint. I'm big in, drawing it big enough to, to make sure that I've included all of that dovetail, even the back edges. Then with the move tool, I'm picking at the midpoint and tapping control key to get that plus sign. Now I'm copying and I'm hitting the down arrow key so that I hold on to the blue axis until I reach the segment of the divided line. So again, I'll just copy down another dovetail, hit the down arrow key, go over to the line, segmented line, and wait for that little green dot to appear, and then I know I've got it at the right location. Let's speed this up. I'll just pick all three existing dovetails and grab one at the midpoint and head on down the blue axis and move over to the segmented line and pick the, the uh, segment that we need. Now, just looking at this, I just need two more dovetails. So, I don't want to move copy three. Let's just go ahead and do another select with the select tool on only two of the dovetails. Grab the move copy tool, click on the center point, hit the control key, come down on the blue axis and go to the end point of the line. And this is a half dovetail down at the bottom. We'll have to clean that up a little bit later. Uh, we need to push pull these other copied dovetail joints. I'm just double clicking because it it remembers the push pull remembers that we're just going from to clear out those dovetail joints from the first time it did it. So I just went ahead and uh, cleared out all of those dovetail joints now. Now erase the guidelines, 
oh, the guidelines are outside the component, so I'm going to close the component and go ahead and delete this segmented line that we used as a guide for the spacing. Uh, let's, we have some cleanup down here at the bottom on this half dovetail. I'm going to bring the copy, a copy out on the green axis and zoom in on that bottom dovetail. And notice we've got a little sliver here that we need to get rid of. Edit the component, pick the eraser, go ahead and swipe out these little triangular wedge pieces here. And close the component and erase the copy and the dovetails are complete. So if the dovetails aren't done on the other end, you can just copy these and place them on the other end of the carcass front component. 